In today's news, ministerial successor identified as Nigel Clark joins IMF as deputy MD. Details coming right up. You want to know the happenings in Jamaica today? Good, I got them right here on Jamaica News Online. I am Esmer Sastin and welcome to Jamaica News Online. These are the latest headlines today. Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, is said to be appointed Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, effective October 31st, 2024. The revelation was made by Prime Minister Andrew Holness, who announced on Monday that IMF Managing Director Krista Lida Georgieva proposed Clark's appointment to the position. Holness congratulated Dr. Clark on the pending appointment and noted that he has already identified successors to Dr. Clark in both his ministerial and parliamentary responsibilities should he be appointed come October. The government has identified successors to Nigel Clark in both his capacities. We will provide updates in due course and the public can expect policy continuity and a continuation of the economic achievements that this government has worked so hard to secure, Holness said in a release. However, I wholeheartedly congratulate Dr. Nigel Clark on Monday's announcement of his pending appointment as Deputy Managing Director of the IMF, he continued, noting that the IMF plays an indispensable role in the world's economy, promoting global financial stability and monetary cooperation in service of its 190 member countries, Holness highlighted and praised the achievement. The position of Deputy Managing Director is global in scope. No citizen of Jamaica, the Caribbean or Central America has ever before served at this level in the IMF in its 80 years history. It is to the benefit of Jamaica and the Caribbean region for one of our nationals to serve in such a consequential global position. This development is therefore a tremendous net gain for Jamaica and the Caribbean. Furthermore, this elevation of Minister Clark is demonstrative of the depth, strength and capacity of my administration, the Prime Minister said. Over the course of his public sector career, Dr. Clark has made outstanding contributions to Jamaica as Chairman of the National Housing Trust, Heart Trust and the Port Authority and also as Senator, Ambassador of Economic Affairs and Minister of Finance and the Public Service. As Ambassador of Economic Affairs, he maintained the government's relationship with IMF and other multilaterals at a critical time and negotiated key agreements in 2016, including the early termination of the extended fund facility and entry into the precautionary standby agreement. During his tenure as finance minister, he has driven the substantial improvement in Jamaica's macroeconomic fundamentals, the abolition and reduction of discretionary taxes, central bank independence, the Fiscal Commission, multi-layer disaster risk financing, public body governance and public body rationalization, the Prime Minister stated. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? Up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.